night to everyone. I hope you're having a nice weekend. So I know that you have gathered in front of TVs to watch your favorite program, Let's Talk. So now I know that you're eager to know what we're going to talk about today. But before that, let's move to... talk about today yes you're right today we're going to talk about the mother of all sciences the agriculture so to talk about this topic more elaborately we have invited someone really important actually we have invited to the uh, to the director of the department of agriculture sector and professor of agricultural engineering dr tizri fonseca but unfortunately due to the current situation of the country she's unable to uh, participate here uh, physically so we bring her via online platform. So she's here with us. Let's see whether she's here. So, ma'am, how's you doing? Are you doing great? Yeah, I'm doing great. So, how about your weekend? I hope you're doing great in your weekend as well. Yeah, a bit busy, but mm -hmm. productive. So, first of all, thank you so much for joining with us. Actually, this means a lot for us, even in the uh, in the midst of so many. Uh, busy schedule and thank you so much uh, for joining with us thank you for deciding to joining with us for this year no no it's okay uh, i really like to let you know people about the sector mm -hmm. so ma'am let's move directly to the today's discussion so actually today we're here to talk about agriculture and when it comes to the agriculture still people have primitive notions toward this sector so they think that agriculture just means farming and plugging and that's all. But I think there are way more things beyond the topic agriculture. So in the inception, I would like to raise the question like this, to add more depth to this sector, to add more depth to this topic as well, I would like to raise the question like, what does real mean by agriculture? Um, really, it is, it is a very nice question. Mm -hmm. Actually, as you said, people have many native ideas that they think that uh, agriculture is farming. It's not mm -hmm. right. Actually, the agriculture is a broad sector. Maybe the basic concept is farming. Yeah. But mainly, the sector includes farming and also the livestock. In modern agriculture, we are trying to make farmers fast. So I hope you got a better idea about this. Though people have many native ideas about this sector, I hope you understand that agriculture is not a simple subject or a simple sector. Mm -hmm. It starts from a seed of a plant yeah. and it ends from a food production. So it's very complicated. Don't misunderstand. This is very uh, simple subject that it equals, uh, equals to the farm. So I hope people get a good idea about what this agriculture really means. So it has been so obvious that agriculture means a broad subject and it has extended its borders to unlimited extent as well. So to make this subject more convenient that it has been divided in subcategories as well, as I know. So I would like to know about those subcategories as, as well. So can you explain those categories to us, ma'am? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. As you said, uh, agriculture is a broad subject. So, uh, we can't specifically say that this belongs to this subject, this belongs to this subject. So, right. uh, simply, 
we are categorizing it into mm -hmm. uh, some uh, subjects. So I will tell. At first, I would like to talk about the agriculture botany. In that subject, we are uh, we talks about the morphology of the plants. All right. In animal science, we talk about the livestock and the poultry industry. And uh, in agriculture chemistry, it consists the chemical elements and the chemical things that we uh, use to uh, do farming and all those things helps to, helps us to uh, improve the agriculture. And uh, another subject, uh, there's another subject, it calls crop science. In that, we, are, we talk about the crops. And uh, there's another subject called agriculture engineering. In that, uh, we are applying the theory, theories of the agri science practically. And in uh, agriculture economy, uh, we, are talk, we talk about how to score the resources uh, to fulfill the human needs. Yeah. So I think you get a better idea about the main, like simple uh, categorization of this sector. Yeah. Yeah, obviously. So that's a nice and elaborated explanation. And I hope our viewers can get a better idea of the sector now. So uh, what I get to know with this agriculture is so broad subject. And um, yeah, that it, it is also a device subject as well. And it's so unique subject. So it shows the power of nature as well. So on the other hand, it shows that uh, this agricultural sector has been the equipment to make a revolution on our mother nature as well. So if I move to the next question, I would like to raise a question like this. What about the current situation of agricultural sector in Sri Lanka and in other countries as well? Um, actually, if I want to talk about this current situation in this uh, agricultural sector in Sri Lanka, mm -hmm. it's very pathetic because uh, we all know that there's a dollar problem in our country and yeah. it mainly affect this sector because we have uh, we are exporting these uh, fertilizers and weed sites from other countries and now we can't afford to buy those things so the farmers are in a disaster and also the officers also uh, so i hope that problem will uh, get solved soon and though the agriculture plays a main role in our economy, this sub, uh, sector is very insignificant. I hope they will understand the importance of the subject and the importance of this agriculture sector because uh, they will need this sector in this in near future, I hope. So yeah, it's so pathetic that, as you said, and it's so tragic to hear about that engagement of people into the sector is not significant and not as we expecting. So this can be totally transformed by our future generation and even by our youth. So what we want to do is we want to show the opportunities of this sector. So I would like to uh, ask a question like this. Um, what about the career opportunities of agricultural sector? Can you explain them to our viewers? then they can uh, tap into the sector without any hesitation. Yeah, sure. Um, actually, I think young generation will uh, come more to this sector mm -hmm. because they have many thousand and thousand career opportunities in this sector. Mm -hmm. As an example, they can be uh, agriculture engineer, seed right. technologist, and uh, crop specialist. Um, Agri agriculture lawyer, agronomist, agri, agri inspectors. There are many more opportunities, uh, and also farm managers, production managers. Likewise, there are many more opportunities in this sector. If they, we all know that the technology is very improved in this uh, era, and I hope they will uh, get a better knowledge about this sector by searching through the internet or surfing the internet. So I think. Uh, they have many career opportunities in this drug than the ones I told. Uh, there are many more. So I hope they will get a better idea about the sector as I uh, told before also. So. All right, ma'am. Now I hope that more and more heads will step into this uh, sector without any hesitation and with more passion and with more knowledge as well. 
So yeah, we have discussed more and yet we have a lot more to discuss as well. But uh, you know, the time has been a barrier for us. So we have came to the end of our program. But before we're gonna wrap up this program, I just got to hear that you're engaged in a sort of research or something. Am I correct or can you correct me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we we are really eager to know about the research. Can you just simply say what it is about or something like that? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Actually, I'm uh, engaged in uh, research these days, as I said. Mm -hmm. uh, it's about uh, embed AI into this agriculture sector. So we hope, to, AI. Uh, publish, oh, yeah. uh, we hope to uh, publish the research paper soon, so mm -hmm. you will get to know about it also in the future. So, that is sounds so interesting and embedding AI, it means artificial intelligence to agriculture sector that would yeah. definitely create an evolution in this sector as well. So it seems that agriculture has stepped into the next level uh, according to my prediction. So yeah, it's so nice to talk with you and to share this knowledge with our viewers. And that was so nice of you. So uh, I would like to um, wish you on your project as well, Mel. And thank you so much for sacrificing your time and effort on our program. So thank you so much for joining with us. So do you have anything to say to our viewers at last? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. It's very really nice to be here because uh, I'm, I'm uh, looking very forward to give people a, uh, the knowledge about the sector to the people. Mm -hmm. And also thank you and thank you for your team to arrange this program and inviting me to. So that's it. So thank you, thank you actually for joining with us. That then that's so nice of you to thank us for uh, this program as well. And I hope that we could uh, carry out the message and we could convey the message of agriculture, what it means and uh, how broad subject it is to the our nation as well. And now I hope that more and more heads will step into this sector without any hesitation. So yeah, I would like to conclude like this, that agriculture is not the agriculture that you have been thinking for years now. So it's not, uh, so you can throw away all those primitive and native notions. And yeah, you can think into this sector, look into this sector with a different point of view and with more new aspects. And yeah, you can throw away all those traditional minds and we'll meet up on next weekend as well with an inspiring topic like this. And until then it's goodbye from us and have a very nice weekend.